Hi right, guys, welcome back for another video from TDL DIY. So we're gonna be looking at the Samsung dishwasher at my mother-in-law's rental. Uh, basically, it's making a grinding noise. I'm not gonna uh, simulate it for you, just have to take my word on it. Um, but as reported, and I think they sent us some videos, so we'll try and get that. Uh making a grinding noise and they believe it's from underneath obviously so what we're gonna do um, I think I kind of already know what the, the issue is but we're gonna pull this out we're gonna take a look at the filter just to make sure if we don't see anything under there first and then after we're gonna pull the whole unit out and I believe on this side we'll um, take it out flip it on the side or leave it standing up and there is a little motor there and we'll just unhook it and basically either some food or a piece of utensil or plastic or something like that got in there and that's kind of what's making the grounding noise but uh let's go through and let's see uh we'll first take off all that it's a lot of screws and we'll kind of do our first diagnostics starting from the easiest to get to then taking the whole thing out and taking a look at it from there All right, took the screw out of here. Oh, I'm just talking to myself. Yeah, we got some stuff. See, that's the little uh, blade. And then it could be just simple things like this, like that's that piece right there. So it could have just fell off and fell in the, into the grate. Cause like there's a fine mesh and then there's spots where like bigger stuff can get under and then this will chop it up. It's kind of like, um, ah. what do you call those sink things that cut things up? The uh, carburetors. Carburetors, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. So that's easier to do. So that's why I wanted to look here first, because right. I had a feeling that maybe something would go in there, right. and then after we'll take it out, and there should be a pump or something underneath. Yeah. And that's where the other spot would be. Would be, yeah. okay. But Well, that yeah. would make sense. This would make a lot of sense right there. Yeah. Focus, there we go. So, yeah. Again, probably, probably just it, but you I know. Did. Oh no, there's a cord. Well, I didn't record it all, but I put it all back. I, I thought it was recording, but so we put all that back and uh, we'll put the, the other part that goes in the middle there, get that all put up. And uh, yeah, so sorry I didn't get that. I thought it was recording there, so. Uh, Get that put back in and then we'll pull it out and just double check uh, inside or the under part. So you put it in and this piece kind of twists and locks in place. 
and you just push this in. And push it. Push this guy in. All right, so we got power disconnected, dishwasher on side. We'll take off two screws. Now this is the area we want to get at, and it says open with a twisting motion that way. See if there's any debris in there. Then we'll wrap this up. And it doesn't appear to be, so seems like oh, just, just a little bit of stuff, but nothing. Diaphragm and there we go. So we found exactly where our problem was. It was inside, but since this is another common spot where stuff gets bypassed into and spins around this impeller, we figured we'd check it out. That's that uh that yeah. other spot. Yeah. I said like stuff gets stuck in there and it just beats around here. Yeah. So it kind of sounds like your motor is yeah yeah, yeah. yeah but like the other spot is like literally just right under here. Yeah. So um, that's why I said oh, I'll check that first. Right. It seemed like most of the common issue was here for right, most right. people, but in this case, it was just that piece of plastic flying uh -huh. around inside. Uh -huh. Most likely the issue, so. Okay. I didn't even hear you put it on its side. Yep, super quiet. Yeah, it does tell me a rotation. That's back in. Should be good to go. All right, we just put that panel back on there. It's not necessary to take off. I think it's probably easier to access everything from underneath. Although people say you have, you can access it through that side panel there. And that's on the right hand side of this unit. Now one other thing, we did put a towel on the ground in case uh, there was some water that came out. But before we did that, remember we were inside and we soaked up a lot of that water. So it would prevent it from staying in the system a little bit, hopefully. Um, that was my game plan. 
and it actually worked. Might not work for you, but put a towel down or something, catch any water that might fall out. Now I'm gonna hook up the, the power there. I'm not gonna show you guys that one. I didn't show you guys unhooking it. Um, it's pretty simple. And uh, this is not really how to install a dishwasher, so. All right guys, so I don't think I was recording once again. Man, I'm bad for that. Um, so we got the kick plate in, it's installed. There's uh, one little hanger there you might be able to see, and then one somewhere over there. Uh, we got those little uh, clips in, or um, mounting brackets in, so we're good to go. Everything looks good. All we gotta do is put the racks in, and it should be good for a test. Okay, so we just started the cycle. See if there's any bad noises. Kind of sounds like it's draining right now. Did you hear it right away? We heard it right away. So this is, yeah. Because it sounds like water is going in now? Yeah. So it took like 10, 15, 20, 30 seconds for us to be able to hear it. Okay. So it was probably on the drain cycle. Because it like auto drains just to make sure there's any water. Thing in there, yeah. And then it starts with the water. Yeah. So, so no, we would have heard it. So we put it in, ice was still standing at the, the sink, yep. cleaning up the rest of the other dishes that didn't fit in. And I heard it like, I would have heard it by now. Okay. So, Perfect. hey. Awesome. Yay. Job well done. <laughs>